So you're thinking about moving to Hilton Head, South Carolina, and you've heard of this place called Caligny Beach. Well, what is Caligny Beach? We're gonna tell you. We're gonna show you the shops, we're gonna show you the parks, we're gonna show you the housing, we're also gonna show you the beach. The beach, yeah, that's what we're gonna show you. We're gonna take you to the beach. Enjoy it. <music> This is your first time to the channel. Thank you. And second, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you know when we put out new videos. Putting out multiple videos a week to help you learn about everything that's going on here in Hilton Head from housing to shopping to food to play, everything that's available. I often get calls from viewers like you who are thinking about maybe moving here who have questions because they're gonna come vacation here, they want recommendations, whatever it is. Don't hesitate to give me a call, shoot me a text, or click the link, we'll schedule a Zoom, we'll figure out what you need, we'll make sure you get set up. Today as we start in Caligny, I'm starting here at the Low Country uh, Park. It is a fairly new park here in the area, probably five years old or so. You can see behind me, we've got an amphitheater right there. Uh, this over here is a children's museum. And then you've obviously got this huge open span. We've got tons of uh, festivals, festivities, running fests, um, markets, just activities after activities after, after activities. This is a great use of this space. It is it has brought a new life to this Caligny area. Caligny has always been the fun surf shops and the beachy public area of Hilton Head. Now you've got this family friendly community park. And what I'm about to show you is really what makes it super cool. So if you're gonna move here, uh, if you've got kids or grandkids who are going to visit, they're going to wanna see this park. Um, what we've got here is literally a pirate ship playground, pirate ship playground with slides, ropes, climbing, like adventure after adventure after adventure. You got this little fun water park. Trust me, it gets hot here in the summer. This thing is awesome. They're splashing around, they're getting wet, they're getting refreshed. You're hanging out on the, on the benches uh, over here at the picnic tables, relaxing, letting the little ones just have a blast. So again, we're here at the Low Country Park. It is one of the best open field parks and one of the best playgrounds here on the island. Um, it's well worth a visit, well worth your time to come check this out here in Caligny. So we're walking through the public parking here at Caligny. There is a ton of parking here, but believe it or not, it does get pretty full in the summertime. Um, but this is a great place for any of your tenants, guests, overflow parking, anything like that. Um, if you own a place here on Forest Beach, this is a great place to park, grab your stuff, walk to the beach. We're actually on our way to the beach right now. So we'll come from the uh, parking lot, head over towards the beach, I'll show you a great little park at the entrance to the beach, as well as some of the condos that are there. Here, what you're gonna have is, you've got a South Forest Beach and a North Forest Beach. Um, in South Forest Beach, you are looking at mainly condos, beachfront condos, and then second, third, fourth row, condo slash um, townhome villas that are there. Very, very popular as short-term rentals. Um, and pretty affordable. Now what you do miss in the rental market is some of that off-season golf. So if you're inside of a community that has a golf course, you, you typically get a little bit longer of a rental period because you have that time, that golf time. Here, it is jam-packed for the summer, for the, the summer months, for the beach months. And then we kind of tail off a little bit as we get to, um, as we get to, you know, kids going back to school, uh, the weather starting to break, um, just because there's no real public 
golf course. There's no easy access golf course here. This is 100% beach. Uh, I don't want to say beach only, but 100% beach almost. So we make our way to the beach. Hopefully you can see some of these teak walkways that we're on, the stone that has been created in the walkways, all of the bike parking. Um, this has all been updated, I don't know, probably in the last five years or so, probably very similar to the park. As you come through to the entrance, and I'll stop, we'll spin around, I'll kind of show you what's going on here. But you've got your public restrooms right here behind me. You've got a splash pad to where all those posts are. You've got a little splash pad for the kids. You've got a little turnaround here coming off of the street. Stop, unload your stuff, then head back out onto the beach. Um, but again, public restrooms, um, some swings to hang out on, um, and, and really the beach is right there directly behind me. We just came from the parking lot and you can see it's November uh, and we still have plenty of people walking around looking at me like I'm weird because I'm talking to my camera. Um, but you can kind of get a good idea of the restrooms that are here. You've got single stall restrooms on this side that I'll show you. Um, so all these little single stall family style restrooms, benches, seats, Adirondacks. Um, it's just you know, a place to chill down here in the south. On this side you can see you've got all of your swings, people just hanging out, enjoying the sunshine. Again, it's November, mid-November. It's almost Thanksgiving. The sun is hot. People are hanging out. Um, it really is a, a, a great environment, a great, great environment. So we're getting closer. Oops, I just lost my face there. Sorry. Let me fix that. There we go. I was holding the, the thing wrong, trying to get you good scenes. So as we come through, you got a couple of low showers here, outdoor showers, see if I can get you those. So again, wash off your feet. We just had a dog come through, wash his feet off, get all that stuff off before you get to the car because it makes a huge mess. And then as we turn around, you're probably gonna get blinded by the sun, but the beach is literally right behind us. I couldn't help it. I had to take my shoes off. I had to walk out on the beach a little bit. Um, really what I wanted to do is I wanted to walk over and show you one of the most popular places here on Caligny. Um, first, just looking at the surf. We're a little bit rough out there today. Must be a storm out over the, uh, the Atlantic. But wanted to walk you over to one of the hottest of hot spots here in Caligny. This is the Tiki Bar. Um, sits behind what used to be the Holiday Inn, and it took me 20 years to find this place. I don't know why it took me that long. It doesn't make sense. Uh, we would do guys trips down here all the time. My buddies found it before I did, um, but I've been a couple, been there a couple times since we've moved here permanently. It's a super cool place. Tons of live music. It is just a, a very good, it's what you would expect for a beach bar atmosphere. It's lively, uh, it's loud, it's crowded, it's a lot of fun. Um, it is definitely the night spot here on the island. But there you go, that's the Tiki Bar. If anyone's ever talked about the Tiki Bar, now you can say you've seen it. Again, what you're looking at here is um, typical bar food, fried food, good drinks, good atmosphere, live music, People are coming in off the beach, you know, no shoes, no problem. Uh, just a great laid back beach atmosphere here at the Tiki Bar. As we leave the Tiki Bar and the beach, we're gonna take a little bit of a drive here. We'll show you some of the uh, condos, what they look like, what the streets look like, kind of proximity to the beach. Um, again, when we're on South Forest, which is where we'll go now, we are going to be looking at primarily condos, townhouses. It's gonna be pretty congested. There's gonna be a lot of, of homes here that um, 
are available. Uh, again, fairly reasonably priced homes, including some studio places that are right on the beach that are relatively affordable. When I say affordable, um, beachfront for around four, less than five. Um, so you, you've got some affordable housing here, don't have HOAs. Um, it really, it's funny, I, I equate Forest Beach essentially to the wild, wild west because there's no, um, there's no regime, there's no one really looking over. Um, again, this is a, a great place for your short-term rental. So you wanna have a place at the beach, you want it to be affordable, you wanna offset the costs with a, a little bit of rental income. Forest Beach is really your entry level place to be that gives you great rental income because of all the activities that are here on the beach with Caligny and the shopping. Um, great place for essentially your first time Hilton Head investor. This is, this is usually the place that they end up. We head off the beach and around the circle, we head into Caligny Plaza. Uh, here you're gonna find bars, restaurants, shops, um, t-shirts, uh, like inflatables. You can find anything from cheap skimboards, surfboards, uh, water, toys, to expensive high-end uh, water toys. Um, it's, this is, this is essentially your boardwalk of Hilton Head. Um, again, anything from t-shirts. Good morning. You can see the t-shirt shops. And we're only on the outside of the plaza. Once we go inside of the plaza, you've got more restaurants, ice cream places, um, surf shops, uh, tchotchkes, clothing, really, um, it, again, whatever you would think of as a beachy boardwalk area, that's what we've got here um, in Caligny. We'll go across the street here in a second to take a look at, at what's there. But again, you can kind of see some of the stuff that's here, get a vibe, or hopefully get a feel for the vibe of what we've got going on. <music> The other side of Caligny Plaza, here we're coming up on one of our favorite stores. It's Quiet Storm. Um, I've got a son who is 15, who likes to surf, who likes beach activities. He also likes expensive things. So therefore, Quiet Storm is one of his favorites. Right around the corner from Quiet Storm, you've got Rita's in front of us. Sorry, how you doing? So you've got Rita's ice cream right here behind me. Um, again, a, a family favorite for us. Stop, get some Rita's, walk around. And as we come back into the courtyard inside of all of the plaza, you've got a little amphitheater here where you've got some, some shows, some nightlife, some live music. Um, and then what you don't get to see, unfortunately, because it's the off season, amphitheater right behind me, and what you don't get to see because it's the off season, all of these little huts are what you're gonna get your like spray painted homemade t-shirts, your fake tattoos. We get our hair braided here all the time. Um, face painting, like all of the things that you, you knew of when you were a kid going to the beach, like all of that. I don't even know how to say it. Like all of that cheesy beach stuff, 
that's here. That's what goes on in this plaza. The kids absolutely love it. We come here all the time in search of bracelets, um, in search of a, a, a decent boogie board um, for Rita's. And what's great is it's not very far. So we bike here, we, we do our thing, have lunch, get our hair braided, get a fake tattoo. Uh, we make sure we put it in an appropriate spot so mom doesn't get mad. And um, yeah, then we head back home. It's, it's really a very cool, uh, if there was a downtown to Hilton Head Island, it's a very cool downtown area. It is hopping in the summertime. It is hopping at night. Um, that's Caligny. <laughs> you know everything there is to know about Caligny, uh, Forest Beach, north and south. You've seen the properties, you've seen the beach, you've seen the amenities. If there are any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me. I love receiving phone calls or messages from my viewers asking about the island, uh, just being curious about what's here. Uh, I feel it's my job to share my love of this island with anybody who's interested in learning about it. So if you're interested in a, a retiring to the island, if you're interested in a second home, if you're interested in an investment property, we're here to help you. Don't hesitate to call, email, text, uh, or set up a Zoom with the link that we've got provided here in the remarks. Other than that, have a great day. I can't wait to see you on the island.